Hello everyone, Dr. Anna here. In the past three videos, I've shared with you about what the basics are about our hormones and then how our hormones change with our reproductive cycle and how our hormones change over time. Where are you at? Are you having regular cycles or are you struggling with PMS, perimenopause, or even is your menstrual cycle a you know, remnant of your memory because it's been so long ago? Well, wherever you are, this video is really intended for you because I want you to understand some key concepts between hormones that you hear us talk about. And one of them, every one of us have, all of them we have, but you hear about this all the time, estrogen. So I wanna go a little bit more into estrogens and the counterpart, androgens, are bone building, muscle building, youth and energy hormones Estrogen is one of our female hormones. Like I said, men have it too, and it declines over time. It also can be disrupted by toxins or hormone disruptors, endocrine disruptors. So we wanna keep it healthy and we wanna keep it metabolizing healthy. We know from the research that it helps with our maintaining bones. It helps with help, beautiful skin. It's beautiful for our breast tissue. It's how we get our feminine parts and also helps with vaginal moisture. If you have suffered from vaginal dryness, you may have been prescribed an estrogen vaginal cream, tablet, or ring to help with vaginal dryness. Well, that's only part of the picture that's happening. So in comes androgens. Androgens are your bone building, muscle building, anabolic hormones that give us strength, our precursor hormones, and are very important for certainly our sexual health, our sex drive, our libido. In a study done in 2009 by Dr. Ferdinand Labrie, he studied vaginal DHEA tablets, again, a, an androgen. He looked at inserting vaginal DHEA into the vagina and then checked um, an inventory, a sexual health inventory, and found that there was a 23% increase in desire, a 75% increase in lubrication and arousal, and a 57% improvement in vaginal dryness all over placebo. That's huge. What we also know from androgen therapy is that it helps the muscle walls of the vagina not just the mucosa, not just the first layer, but the muscles. So that will help with strength, pelvic floor strength, decrease incontinence symptoms, decrease prolapse symptoms, and just restore that youthful elasticity that is important no matter how old we are. Again, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So understanding what we may need to do or where we may need to replace hormones when necessary is really important. First things, clean up our diets from endocrine disruptors. Second thing, exercise the pelvic floor, and every muscle in your body. We know how important exercise is. So in my next video, I'm gonna teach you in the, a really super quick and, and simple way to do your Kegel exercises and how to know you're doing them right because so many people do them wrong. So stay tuned because I have a lot more to share with you and I look forward to hearing your questions. Join me at DrAnnaKebeka.com and I'll see you in the next video.